day two of my Riding on Stone Provincial Park journey. Um, I'm just going to eat some breakfast right now. And then I'm going to drive to the Provincial Park and just run around and spend the day there and uh, see the ancient um, petroglyphs and pictographs. I know yesterday I called them like hieroglyphs or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what those are, but uh, correction, they are called uh, petroglyphs, which are rock carvings and pictographs are rock paintings. And they're about, they're the people, the Blackfoot people were at this provincial park or in this area for 10,000 years. So, I think it'll be interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then drive. So I'll see hey you guys. I hit the trail. As you can see, we got the Hoodoo Trail. Uh, I read it was only about 2.2 kilometers, so it shouldn't be too bad. Although the lady at the desk said it usually takes people about three hours to do the full loop. So I guess we'll find out. I like the idea of being able to climb on stuff. fun it's pretty cool in here uh, I hope I don't see any rattlesnakes though it's kind of my biggest worry about being in here and also it's like the desert so it's super hot in here you can just feel it compared to the parking lot it's so much more hot I was climbing on the rocks and these people below me just seen a four to five foot snake but it wasn't a rattlesnake so I went down to go check it out and it had hid and it was gone so I missed out which kind of sucks but oh well Yeah, this trail takes you on some kind of windy path through the hoodoos. 
which makes it fun and you kind of like lose the trail for a second and then all of a sudden there's this hole in the side of the cliff. Let's see what this viewpoint is. I just came through all of these hoodoos in here. Here's the Milk River. It's really low and apparently really dirty. Fecal matter and stuff like that from farming. So, it's not recommended to swim in it. Looks tempting though, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, the countryside here is just phenomenal. Just looks like something right out of a movie. It's pretty cool. Like look at all the sage here. All of this stuff, that's all sage that you can pick and dry out and then smudge with, but um, kind of in a provincial park area so I'm just gonna, I wouldn't bother doing it I don't have tobacco anyway to offer so I'm just gonna wait till I get home before I start picking again this season so I guess this is where the um, carvings are I mean you can see some of them can see like little drawings of guns or something or little people but then there's also these idiots that come here and write their own name on the wall like you'd have to come way out of your way to come here and vandalize this stuff like some people are just so stupid like down there you can see like an animal carving like those ones look those are the original Super old. Yeah. It's a shame. Nice and cool in here. <laughs> Compared to the other place. <laughs> so hot. Oh. Whew. Hi. Hello. Hi. Trail. It's pretty cool. The hoodoos are just so are fascinating. Fascinating. Wow. I think I got heat stroke or something. <laughs> Uh, time to eat lunch and drink some fluids and then I don't know hey guys I'm going to stop for lunch at the sandstone motel it is in Milk River let's go see what it's all about so I'm gonna get the uh, golden battered cod it's 1749 so we'll see what it comes out like see what it looks like so that's what I have, uh, non-alcoholic beer and two-piece cod fish and chips with fries. So we got our pile of wood again today. Um, it's about 9 p.m. right now. I'm just about to make dinner. I had a nice three-hour nap, so dinner's a little bit late tonight. And... Um, Tonight, we are having stroganoff sauce, eggs, noodles, <laughs> beef, and mushrooms. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but it was the only one last, or the only one left on the shelf. So, beggars can't be choosers, right? Oh my god, this, <laughs> this dinner is so good.
Looks like vomit, but tastes like magic. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Anyway, as you can see, I've shaved off some little shavings in there to try to ignite it. So I'm hoping that a good fire should be able to be lit with a match. There we go. See how quick that stuff lights up? It's fantastic. Just shave it with a knife in there and just let it burn. Hook it. There we go. I just added some paper towel to it and uh, now the wood's fully on fire. Everything's burning nice. I'll just keep stoking it and enjoy the rest of my night. Good morning, guys. Uh, yeah, it's time to go home now. I didn't sleep very well. Probably went to bed about 2 a.m. and I was up at 6.45ish. So I just decided to pack up my tent and get ready to go.